Hello, hello. Today we are building a Christmas tree. Yes, you heard me right. Building a Christmas tree. Oh my god, and why? And why would we do this to ourselves? I mean, this was a really big project. We are making it out of, well, just branches, as you can see, and we end up using some clay too because my original plan didn't quite work out. But this is really tough to do, like especially with this many branches and stuff like that. Uh, you know, just trying to make them manageable and everything. But I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. And I think doing it like this is better than just buying it mass produced. I had to throw away some branches because they were actually rotting inside and I did not want that as a part of my Christmas tree, so yeah, here I am just cutting out different sizes. I'm going to make like three crosses and put them on, on the on the la la longest stick <laughs> um, to sort of give it the shape of a Christmas tree. And the whole point is for it to be, you know, well, first of all, homemade, of course, but for it to be sort of easy to hang different ornaments on, but not just take up a lot of space, like most Christmas trees do. In Denmark, there's like this old tradition that a Christmas tree had to be eaten. Oh my god, that sounds wrong. But basically in olden days, which we don't do anymore, at least we don't, we would hang apples and cookies and stuff like that on the tree and after Christmas the kids would eat it or the people, I don't know. I'm not like an expert and I'm pretty sure it's a German tradition. At least, as, well, the Christmas tree is as, as far as I'm concerned. That's where we got it from. And I think the whole putting eatable stuff on it is too. So, thank you Germany for those lovely and cute traditions. Is anyone in here from Germany? Or somewhere close by that? I think it's really nice to know, you know, where people are from and their backstory, especially at Christmas. Like, I constantly try to chat with my online friends and people from around the world, ask them, you know, well, what do you do? How do you celebrate? Do you do something different? Like, if you're from a different religion or if you're whatever, stuff like that. Um, how do you spend these days? I always want to know. So, yeah. It's fun to know stuff like that. It's fun to learn about other people. It's fun to just, you know, experience stuff, I guess. Um, I'm actually also really sad that I forgot to sing a Lucia song for you. I'm pretty sure Lucia is a Swedish thing. It was this person who did some stuff. Oh my god, I'm so good at the whole history thing, <laughs> the whole history aspect of this. Um, but basically every year on the 13th, um, a lot of places have a parade for Lucia. Maybe it's Italian actually. I don't know, the song is Swedish original, but you sing. Nu bæres lyset frem, stolt på din krone. And fun fact, both my sister and I have been Lucia brides or like, yeah, the one that has the the crown full of full of lights on top. Yeah, that's a thing we do. I think ours was electrical though, so that's kind of nice because some people actually have living lights in their hair, like you know. Going up and spook. And as you can see, I sing a lot in these videos, and I actually decided to include a little bit of, uh, of us singing, <laughs> sort of singing, acting out like a Hamilton thing here at the end, because, like, I don't know, I saw it and I thought it was so funny I had to include it. You know, like when I'm smacking my sister in the face with stuff unintentionally, of course. I have, have to include that, and this one I was like, I have to include that too, so that's coming up in a little bit. As you can see, I couldn't quite place the, the tree with the feet I had made, so we put it in 
in a little container with some clay and my sister decorated it with yeah some some I like cool leaves when they're like that pines is it called pines I don't know but I think it was really fun and it turned out amazing and oh my gosh you're gonna see the result in just a second here we are, look at that. We also have to take a sort of sideways view just to get the whole thing in there. Oh my gosh. And whoop. I'm never satisfied. The sunrise, I've never been satisfied. I need a sky to Alexander Hamilton. <laughs> Where's your family from? Unimportant, oh, that's a myth. Okay, no more singing, please. That's all for now. Bye!